Hey guys, this is Sunny Samurai, and today I'm going to be getting ready to cosplay as Misa Amane from Death Note while I have another little chat with you guys about the anime, her character, and how I grew up on anime. Among all the anime that I've watched and the manga that I've read, Death Note still remains one of the top for me. Top five. It's been super long since I read the manga, so at this point I'm not sure how much of it is because it's nostalgic for me and it had like it had a huge impact on me as a child, so I still hold on to it because of that, versus if it's really the story quality. In case you haven't seen on Reddit, Death Note from what I can remember is basically about a bored high school prodigy who discovers a notebook that you can use to kill people just by writing their name on it. It starts out with him taking the moral high ground of killing criminals that he deems deserve to die, but eventually he loses himself with all of the newfound power that he has using this notebook. I love this story so much because it was one of the first moments that I came to face with as a child that made me question or think about the complexities of right versus wrong. Anyway, so I'm starting out with my foundation, which is the same old foundation that I always use. If you are subscribed to me, you've been watching my videos, you probably already know it. So yeah, it's the Maybelline Fit Me Toffee Caramel. So I didn't really particularly like um, the character Misa all that much. And I can't really remember why I didn't like her very much, but I think the fact that she was just so obsessed and dedicated to an increasingly problematic man in the series was what really annoyed me because I think it was one of the first moments that I started to notice a trend of women kind of being used for the development of the male main character. And this was kind of like, kind of on an extreme, an extreme version of that, where I, I, I don't wanna, I mean, this is a super old anime and I feel like you can't really spoil something so old, but I don't wanna like spoil it for any, anybody who's super late to the game. But like, she does like one thing for him in the series and it just it pisses me off so much that she just like she was just so willing to throw herself away for him almost like so like she's like a model and she's kind of like a ditz and people and she's kind of like known for that and stuff and i think that my personality just naturally gets annoyed with that kind of trope if that makes sense i i just get kind of annoyed with that but her fashion sense though her fashion sense, that was iconic. That was, I mean, it's the blueprint, as Twitter would call it. She was the blueprint for what we see today. Like her fashion sense was amazing. And for that reason, and that reason alone almost, I'm cosplaying as her. I feel like the way that I'm phrasing myself makes me seem like I completely hated her as a character. I didn't hate her, she just annoyed me a lot. I was just like, ugh, like. Really, I remember so vividly like going to Barnes and Noble after school every freaking day and on weekends too, I think, just to sit down and like, just like grab a whole stack of the manga and just like, just read through it because I was too broke to like actually buy the manga. And for whatever reason, I discovered it as a manga. I didn't watch the anime really. Like to this day, I never really watched the full anime. I remember getting the whole stack every day after school and I would just breeze right through them because it was just like, it was a trip, bro. I, I think that was the fastest I finished any manga really, like any series. I remember how much I loved like the covers like they were so like detailed and intricate and like the style is very specific to that manga. I feel like with a lot of books and stuff, they can start to kind of look alike when they are all from the same genre. But with Death Note, like the style was very specific. And I think that was the first time that I came into contact with like psychological thrillers. And mind you, like I was also like into Criminal Minds and stuff 
at that age. I think that because of that, that was a big reason why I was so into it because I love things that are just do, that just deal with psychology and kind of like a mind warp and people just trying to manipulate each other and <laughs> in stories, of course. I think ever since reading that series, I have been in a constant search for other series like it. So whenever I'm looking for new anime, like I tend to look at like psychological thriller and like other stuff like that, like similar tags that you might find for Death Note, I try to find that in other stuff. I mean, Future Diary, like Mirai Nikki, later on when I watched that anime, that was kind of up to par in terms of genre, like that specific sub-genre even. Code Geass too, animes like that I was really into at that age. But yeah, I'm using concealer now. Um, the same old concealer that I always use, which is starting to get dirty now with other foundation, because I keep touching it with my foundation fingers. I'm using my Maybelline Liquid Concealer Caramel. Same old, same old. So yeah, if you're considering watching anime, but you haven't taken the plunge yet or anything like that, I would consider watching it. Death Note, like adding Death Note to your list because it's it's one of those classics. I think a lot. I think most people who are into anime would agree that it's one of those classics. But it also depends on what kinds of genres you're interested in. It all depends on like what is your preference. But if you're somebody who likes action, who likes psychological thrillers, who likes just like stuff with like high stakes and things like that, I would definitely recommend Death Note. It's like really up there. There's like a ton, there's like a lots of memes now based on Death Note because it's just, it was such an iconic anime and it's such like, it's literally the blueprint for everything now. And it cla it's such, become such like a classic that now, you know, 10 years, over 10 years later, we're kind of just like, we have a bunch of memes about it and we joke about it. So I feel like there are two things that that says. The fact that there are all these memes about it means that it was really something, like it really was has been embedded into our, subcon into our subconscious, into our media consciousness, at least for people that watch anime, for people that read manga, that are into that stuff. It's been embedded. That says one thing. And it also says that like, if you're like in your 20s, for instance, and you're considering watching anime, uh, I try not to take it too seriously because I feel like there are some moments that are like super serious, but like, but how, how can I put it? I feel like there is just like some comedic, there's some comedy gold hidden in there. And it's really fun to watch such a dramatic series and then see all the memes that come from it. But now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna do like a smoky eye since she's kind of like on the gothic side. So I'm gonna use the same old raggedy ColourPop palette, which I love. And I'm going to use this shadow, this dark shadow over here, along with, I think probably silver. I don't know if she's really like silver. I mean, does she have blue eyes? No. Yes, she does. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use silver with, with black and hope that I don't look like I got punched in the eye. Oh my God, this is so intense. <laughs> this is so intense. Wow, I did not expect that. Whenever I put on foundation, so I have this thing where like I put on eyeshadow without any foundation, nothing, when I don't want, like when I'm being lazy, but I wanna look like I did something today. And when I do that, the eyeshadow doesn't come out very strong. It's just kinda like, yeah, I'm there, but not really. But like when I do foundation first, it's, pops so much because I think it's like dewy and like something about it being kind of wet. My eyelid, my, my eyelids being kind of wet makes it hold more. This is a huge surprise and I'm like kind of hoping I don't regret this. I think I already do, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go with it. So anyways. Wow, this is becoming a disaster. Do you see this? This is a total disaster. Going off of that, um, I don't want to like go off too much on a tangent from Death Note, but I feel like the way that anime has become such a trend has almost made me super 
almost makes me kind of nervous because I don't know how long it's going to last and what will happen once the trend is done, you know? There's like a pretty big spotlight, for instance, on black people right now um, to deliver, you know, black people who are nerds, um, black people who are soft, black people who are just, you know, anything other than the stereotype, and that includes black people who, you know, grew up as otakus. It's almost kind of like a movement now, and I'm just like, I'm excited, but I'm also like, how long is this going to last? Like, because again, it's a trend. Um, and trendy things tend to have an expiration date until, you know, the mainstream moves on to the next trendy thing. But I'm gonna try to remain optimistic because what else can you do, really? It's still a very good thing that's happening. This is kind of a disaster. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm like, I'm constantly trying to clean it up and like, I kind of hate it. Like, I really should not have used this silver. I mean, this side is pretty clean. It's pretty crisp. It's bigger than I want it to be, but it's pretty crisp. But this side, awful. It's absolutely awful. I feel like this whole side of my face is gray. I can't, I don't know if you can see that, but I hope not. Like why? This side is just like, what is going on? I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. I think if I do any more, it's just gonna be an even bigger disaster. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrows now, which is my CoverGirl Easy Breezy pencil. And it's black. I'm starting to realize that black is really like a terrible color to use um, as an eyebrow pencil, at least for me, because it's so freaking bold. I did a lot more talking than makeup this time, so. Now I'm just kind of gonna have to just like speed speed through this. I'm gonna do my eyeliner now, which is my NYX liner, which I always use. I like don't know if I should have done liner because I low-key want to put on lashes this time. It's kind of awkward. I think I'm gonna put these on, even though I don't have a ton of time in my hands. I'm just gonna throw these babies on. I have to let this dry. Okay, so I put on the first one. Let's hope that the second one actually works okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. I managed to do it. I tried not to get too much into my head that I need to make it completely perfect, so. Eh, I feel like I'm kind of getting used to these. This makes it like my third time, I think, that I've put these on. Yeah, not bad. So now I'm gonna put on blush, AKA my, actually I have a new blush that's like a lipstick form, but I kind of don't want to use something new right now. So I'm gonna use my eyeshadow palette again. I'm gonna use the pink over here, which I always use. I low-key look crazy, I feel like. Like, I feel like I look kind of intense. I think because of the color of my eyeshadow and the fact that I'm wearing massive lashes. But I'm hoping that it works out in the end. Like, I'm really praying that, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Okay. I'm going to use the same red lipstick that I used for in my last video, which is my e.l.f. red lipstick. Nothing crazy. It kind of dries, it kind of dries out my lips a bit, but I still really like it, so I'm gonna use it, and I think I'm gonna put on like some gloss over it. too bad I guess she wears red lipstick I believe which is why I went with this color and I hope it goes well with I hope the whole thing goes well <coughs> god it's like an inhaled makeup Ugh. at least now it's a little bit like less drying than before 
but I feel like my lips, like my actual lips are still super dry. Like I can barely smile without feeling like my lip is gonna break. Yeah, like right here, I feel like it's gonna tear. Gotta love New York weather, super dry. Okay, so I just pulled out my wig for the first time and it's so long. I was not expecting that. I mean, look. Wow. And this is like way higher quality than the other wig that I got for my IMA cosplay. Um, I know I keep talking about it, but this is a million times better. Like, I feel like I could actually wear this. <laughs> on like a regular day, kind of. Like, wow, the quality is so much better. And it actually came with a wig cap. So that says a lot. Yeah, definitely interesting. <laughs> I'm also like so lazy when it comes to cutting wig bangs. And by lazy, I mean just like not not confident in my abilities enough to wow this is just like the last time i don't know if i should split it to bh i think i'm supposed to like how does her hair look <laughs> i already i'm already forgetting it's supposed to be bangs but these bangs are way too long i'm checking on my computer right now yeah she's supposed to have just like straight up bangs yeah i'm gonna have to manipulate this Okay, so not gonna lie, this wig is low-key giving me a lot of trouble. Um, yeah. I basically added the two little thingy things that she always has. Two little pigtails that she always has, I added those with like what I had. I had these barrettes here, I know that she doesn't like wear this stuff. My throat is so dry, my god. Ugh. Ugh, I need to come back. So yeah, as I was saying, um, I I have the two little pigtails and I kind of like swept it all to the side, like all the extra bangs, I kind of just folded it and tried to put it to the side because they were way too long and I was not about to like quickly cut them like and risk it just like just like ruining the entire wig by doing that let me just put it that way so yeah this is like her wig i hope it doesn't look too bad i mean it like it looks okay i feel like if i just actually like trimmed it myself it would look a million times better but since i was too afraid to do that right away i this is what i am just gonna settle with but I really like the length of it and like it's kind of cool like I've never worn this color before and I also got her sleeves and this is the dress that I'm wearing um I got this dress as like a birthday dress like last you know earlier this year um and I thought you know this is something that she would wear I mean it's not exact to like that traditional Misa look but it's definitely something that she would wear and I feel like that's a good enough reason to wear this. So, okay, I kind of like it. And I also got the stockings. The stockings are actually a little bit too long so I'm kind of like stuffing it into my boots so that they look kind of normal. But other than that, I really like the way that everything is coming together. Like, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And the best part, I have the Death Note, which she also often carries around due to her surprising character development. Um, so yeah, my uh, best friend gave this to me like back, I think either in high school or like middle school because I was just so obsessed with Death Note at the time. So I've had this for a pretty long time it's practically like brand new because I'm too scared to actually write names in it. Not because I'm afraid it will work, but because <laughs> I don't want to ruin such a lovely little merch item. So yeah, this is what I have. I'm also wearing a pair of boots that I have from Dolls Kill. 
I do not shop from them anymore, but I did buy them back when they weren't canceled. Um, they're a pair of Demonia boots. If you ever want to buy these boots, they're from Demonia, you can get it there. Um, and I felt like the, these boots are like, that Misa would actually wear, so. Okay, so I just added a cross necklace that I actually got for a different cosplay, the Shizuku cosplay that I did, which if you want to see, follow me on Instagram as Honey Samurai, exact same name as my YouTube channel. Just check me out on Instagram if you want to see it, but I got, I did like a Shizuku cosplay from Hunter x Hunter, and this is one of the items that she wears, so I thought, why not wear this with this costume as well, since Misa kind of wears like a little chain as well. It looks kind of like a cross, but a special type of cross, but you know, I'll just wear a regular cross to just like get the point across. And she also wears like a little choker, so I'm wearing this little this little guy, which is honestly kind of falling apart, but I'm hoping it stays on long enough for it, for me to take pictures in and stuff, so. Wow, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm out of breath because this wig took so much work and I am like low-key in a rush. So I'm sorry if I sound like I'm very breathy and <sighs> stressed or whatever. But anyways. much for watching guys and thank you for following my journey um, with cosplaying this is honestly so amazing and so fun and I'm so excited to keep doing this um, but anyways if you haven't already please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always love you guys and till next time